We are constantly making decisions. Small ones, like which drink to order, or which selfie to post on Instagram. Bigger ones, like choosing a school, a job, a relationship, or a place to live. Over time, these choices add up to who we are and where we are at this very moment. And each decision we make determines who we will be and where we will end up in the future. That's why the way we make decisions is so important. Making decisions can be a huge burden. Oftentimes, it's just easier to do what everyone else is doing. Making decisions can also be scary and threatening. Choosing to go to a new place, to, to go to a new school, or choose a new job, it makes us question our identities. And this is confusing. Because when we question our identities, with this confusion comes fear. And questioning our identities causes us to think about losing everything we have in the past. And it also brings with it anxiety about what will happen in the future. On top of dealing with this torrent of emotions, there's often also pressure from the outside, from everyone around us. There will constantly be people telling us which school or major will be best for us when we go to college. There will be people telling us which job will make the most money, what will be best for our resumes, for networking, what career will make us the most money. We're bombarded by opinions from our friends, our family, from every corner of the internet. They want to help us, but their noise often makes us more confused. We come to dread decisions, but let me tell you something important. Making decisions is at the heart of what gives our life meaning. Rather than being swallowed up in all of these people telling us what to do, we have an opportunity to take a step back, to look at everything around us, and separate ourselves from the noise of this world, and search deep inside of ourselves for who we really want to become in the next moment of our lives. I want to take you all back to the beginning of my sophomore year of high school, when I had a decision to make. I had just finished one year at one of the best public high schools in San Francisco, where my sisters had recently graduated and gone on to top colleges. Going to the same school as my sisters had always made sense to me, and everyone else too, so I decided to go. But once I got there and spent a year with friends and classes and family, I wasn't feeling fulfilled. At first, I wasn't really sure why, but I realized that I was feeling unfulfilled because it was the path that was given to me, not the one I chose. We've all found ourselves in this situation, feeling stifled and uncomfortable, suffocated even, at a place we don't want to be, simply because we didn't make the choice to be there. My mom could see that I was struggling, and together we decided that I needed to find a different school. After looking around, we discovered a small, tiny, unknown school that made me pause. The school essentially looked like an insignificant, unproven startup company, and it was in a warehouse. <laughs> there were only 200 students, that's two grades, and the school was only two years old. But in it, I saw something. I saw fire and energy for students to create explore, try new things, and improve the world around them. It was a place where everyone was unafraid to be weird, unafraid to be interested in the things they loved. It was a place where I saw a small and supportive community, where I could be unafraid to express who I was without trying to feel like I needed to change to fit in. I saw myself at this school, so I applied. A week before my sophomore year began, a place at the school opened up for me. Suddenly, I was yanked out of the straightforward path of my life, and I was forced to make a very big choice 
On the one hand, I had a well-established, safe route to college. On the other, I had a warehouse. <laughs> I had three grades of students with no graduating class and an uncertain future. Making the right decision for myself did not feel easy. I was scared. I was really, really scared. I wanted to go to this school that excited me, but I was worried that in doing so, I would jeopardize my future. In that moment, I had to question everything that I thought success meant, and ultimately, throw it all away. When we make decisions, the doubts that we have often squash those excitements inside of us, because following our deepest desires sometimes seems inconvenient, impractical, impossible. But within that excitement are the mechanics that can turn a warehouse into a multinational corporation. When Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Oracle's Larry Ellison dropped out of college, they were sacrificing a sure path to success to follow what they were excited about. There will always be those warehouses in your life, those options you were told are bad choices or feel nervous about. Maybe you've always had a secret joy for drawing or photography. Maybe you've always been a great psychologist, but you're really into writing. Maybe you're an accountant, but you've always wanted to be a teacher, a geologist, a horse trainer. Following these desires may seem impractical or silly, but they will ultimately lead you to joy and success in your life. We often don't know about these desires until we have a decision to make and are feeling anxious about it. This anxiety is very important. It's telling us to pay attention, to pay attention to something our heart knows it needs, that we're scared to follow, but know is necessary to support who we're becoming. People around us can only go so far in helping us make these decisions. How can they see who we're becoming? We might want to leave a job everyone thinks is perfect, but to us is unfulfilling. We might want to stay in a job that others think is impractical, but is helping us grow. The right decision won't always make sense to others, but if it's based on the anxious whispers of our hearts, then the decision reflects who we are and who we will become. It's interesting, because once we've done the work to realize who we're becoming, decisions actually become really easy. After we know who we are, we know who we aren't. Choosing what to do becomes effortless. Making decisions becomes like trying on shoes. The choice either fits or it doesn't. In this way, a difficult decision is not a burden. It's an invitation, a challenge. Utilize that moment of uncertainty to find your heart and your warehouse. This is the magic of a decision. Thank you.